Abdullah ibn Abbas radiyallahu anhuma, he stated that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to teach us the following supplication just as he used to teach us the Qur'an. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min adhabi jahannam wa min adhabi al-qabr wa a'udhu bika min fitnati al-masihi al-dajjal wa a'udhu bika min fitnati al-mahya wa al-mamat. That Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to teach us these words just as he taught us the Qur'an. O oh Allah, indeed I seek refuge with you from the punishment of hell and from the punishment of the grave. And I seek refuge in you from the trial of the false Masih, meaning of Dajjal. And I seek refuge in you from the trial of living and dying. And he commanded, as the, as the Prophet ﷺ mentioned, recorded by Imam al-Bukhari and Muslim, that the Prophet ﷺ taught that it should be recited at the end of the tashahud before the taslim. So whilst the false messiah spreads his turmoil, and he spreads his fitna across the earth, the believers will wait the descending and the descent of Isa ibn Maryam. The Prophet ﷺ said, that whilst they are in that state, whilst the Dajjal is wreaking havoc upon the earth, Allah will send Jesus, the son of Mary, Isa ibn Maryam alayhi salam. He will come down at the white minaret in the east of Damascus. He will be wearing two dyed garments. He will be resting his hands on the wings of two angels. When he lowers his head, Beads of perspiration will, form, will, form, will fall from his head, just as pearls they fall. Every disbeliever who smells the fragrance of his breath will die. And his breath will reach as far as the eye can see. Then he will set out and he will catch up with the Antichrist, the false messiah, at Dajjal. He will catch up with him at the gate of Lud. In our times it is called Lud. And he will kill him. When the Prophet of Allah, Isa, will come to, the, to some of the people whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has protected. And he will wipe their faces. And he will tell them of their status in paradise. In a narration, there occurs in the narration of Ibn Majah, the Um Sharik bint Abil Ukar, radiyallahu anha, that she said, I asked the Messenger of Allah, Ya Rasulullah, where will the Arabs be upon that day? Meaning when Isa ibn Maryam descends and when the Dajjal spreads his fitna. On that day, he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there will be few. The Arab, they will be few in number. And most of them will be in Baytul Maqdis, meaning in Jerusalem. And their leader will be a righteous man, referring to the Mahdi, Muhammad bin Abdullah. When their leader steps forward to lead them in the Fajr prayer, Isa ibn Maryam will come down to them on the wings of two angels. When their leader, the Mahdi, he sees Isa has descended, he will step backward so that Isa can stand in his place. But Isa will put his hand between the shoulders of their leader, their Imam, the Mahdi. And he will nudge him forward. And he will say to him, go forward and pray. For the iqama, for the salah was called for you. So their leader will lead them in prayer. When he has finished, Isa ibn Maryam, he will say, open the gates. So when it is opened, behind it he will see Dajjal. And with him will be 70,000 Jews, each of them carrying an adorned sword and wearing a greenish cloak. When the Dajjal sees him, when he sees Isa ibn Maryam, he will begin to melt just as salt dissolves in water. And he will race away and run away from him. And Isa will say, I have only one blow for you which you will not be able to escape. So he will catch up with him at the eastern gate of Lud, and he will kill him. The narration, authentic, 
as Al-Albani has mentioned in Sahih Al-Jami' Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu said that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the hour will not begin up until Isa the son of Mary that he becomes that he comes down that he descends and that he is a just judge and he becomes a just ruler he will break the cross he will kill the pigs he will abolish the jizya and the wealth will become so abundant that no one will accept it and also the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned that isa ibn maryam that he will judge by the sharia of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that he will be an individual who will follow muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the sunnah of allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that no one in his time will be appointed to collect the zakah of sheep and camels grudges and mutual hatred will disappear and the venom of every venomous creature will be removed so that a baby boy will put his hand upon a snake and the snake will not harm him and a baby girl will make a lion run away from her and he will not harm her the wolf will be amongst the sheep just like a sheep dog the earth will be filled with peace just as a vessel is filled with water the people will be united and none will be worshiped except allah there will be no more war and the quraysh will no longer be in power the earth will be like a silver platter with its vegetation growing as it did in the time of adam alayhi salam up until a group of people will gather around one bunch of grapes and it will suffice them and a group will gather around a single pomegranate and it will suffice them an ox will be sold for a large amount of money and a horse will be sold for a few dirhams the messenger of allah will be asked that he uh, that he was asked sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya rasulullah why will horses be so cheap and why will oxen be so expensive the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said because horses will never be ridden in war again and because the land all of it will be tilled the hadith by reported by ibn majah and it was and it will be during the rain and the rule of isa ibn maryam that ya'juj and ma'juj will appear referred to in the bible as gog and magog they will emerge and they will wreak havoc upon the earth and they will wreak havoc upon the people and upon the land and upon their cattle abu said al khudri said the tribes of gog and magog or ya'juj wa ma'juj that they will be set free and they will emerge just as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned wa hum min kulli hadabin yansilun and they will come swooping down from every hillock The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said they will spread throughout the earth and the Muslims will free will flee from them up until the remainder of the Muslims they will seek refuge in their cities and in their fortresses they will take their cattle and their flock with them Ya'juj and Ma'juj will pass by a river and they will drink from it up until nothing remains of it and the last of them will follow in their footsteps and he will say I am sure there was water here once they will prevail over the earth and their leader will say these are the people of the earth and we have finished them off now we will fight the people of the heavens then one of them he will throw his spear into the sky and it will return back with blood upon it and then he will say now we have killed the people of the heaven and whilst they are in that state isa ibn maryam and his followers will take refuge in a mountain And when they are in the mountain Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send down a worm like the worm that is found in the noses of sheep which will penetrate their necks and they will die just as locusts one on top one on top of the other in the morning the people will not be able to hear them and they will not sense anything from them so they will say to each other who will go down who will go down and sell his soul for Allah's sake to see what they are doing 
So a man will go down thinking to himself that he will die. Soon as he appears amongst them, he knows that he will be killed. So when he goes down, he will see that they are all dead, piled as bodies upon each other. And then he will call out, with, call out to them, glad tidings for all, for indeed your enemy is dead. Then the people will return back upon the land with their flocks and their cattle. And they will not find except anything to graze, or they will not find anything to graze upon except the flesh of those Jew, Ya'juj and Ma'juj. And they will become fat upon it as if they were grazing upon the best of the vegetation that is ever found. On the night of the Isra and Mi'raj of Allah's Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, said that he met Isa. And he said, Isa ibn Maryam, that the people would make dua to Allah to save them from Ya'juj and Ma'juj. And I will pray to Allah that Allah destroys them. The earth will be filled with their stench. And the people will supplicate to Allah. And I will supplicate to Allah. Then the sky will send down the rain that will carry them and throw them into the seas. Then the mountains will turn to dust. And the earth will be stretched out like a hide of leather. And I have been promised that when that happens, the hour will come upon the people. Just like the pregnant woman whose family does not know when she will suddenly give birth. So then there are affairs, my brothers and sisters, that will take place after the death and the janazah of Isa ibn Maryam. From those affairs is the coming and the raising of the beast of the earth. And there is the rising of the sun from the west. And there is the great fire that will gather the people in a singular place. And then there is the day, my brothers and sisters, of terror. When the horn is blown. And there is nothing that is alive except that it will perish. Then it will be blown again for the second time. And everyone will come forth from their graves to be judged by their Lord. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the evil of those days. And we seek refuge with Allah from the fitna of the Masihu Dajjal. We ask Allah to save us from the terror of the last hour and the terrors of the day of resurrection. We ask Allah to shade us in the shade of His throne. On the day when there is no shade except his shade. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us to drink from the hod of Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The hod that has been prepared for Ahlu Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een.